I wanted to talk to share um, to share some success stories of individuals, young individuals you know, who have achieved financial independence through cryptocurrency. But it's also good to end it on a positive note. Uh, I have, because of my own experience, I mean, I've sounded like a downer a bit on crypto because I have launched two crypto projects myself and I've also invested hundreds of thousands of dollars in it. My own personal story is not a success one. I'm not going to lie and say I was successful in crypto. No, I lost plenty of money. And I want people to understand that the fact that I lost money does not mean that that's what everybody is doing. Okay, some people have cleaned out on this crypto industry. I went in wrong. I didn't get enough education. And number two, I bought on hype rather than getting proper analysis. But everybody's not like me. So don't hear oh, Dr. Pell lost $200,000 in crypto, so you shouldn't touch it. No, that would be wrong. There are guys like Rume and Co. who are making money there. So I want Rume to share a couple of success stories that he knows. He has to know people who have done very well in this industry as part of yes, any on a positive note. Go ahead, sir. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. I, there's, a, there's, a, there's a man that's my friend that I know on this space that uh, as I'm talking to you, I think uh, it should be, the, yesterday was the, uh, the gala night in Uganda. He did a three-day program, educational program in three countries. He did it, I was supposed to travel there, but I couldn't because of some work here. He did it in Rwanda, uh, and uh, Nairobi, Kenya, and Uganda, the last one. They did it in all of these uh, universities. I think the, the one in Uganda ended up in uh, Makere University because I've also been in Uganda too. East Africa uh, really uh, engaging because this guy has a product that is, that, is, that is actually built here in Nigeria called Boundless Pay. Boundless Pay is a platform where you can transfer money in different parts of the world using enabling the blockchain cryptocurrency. Remittances. I know remittance is a very big uh, project or a very big industry in Nigeria. People need to send money faster and um, in a more easy way. Boundless pay is, is one of the, and he has made a whole lot. In, and he has also made a lot of young people financially independent. Then also uh, in the OTC space, I, I, my, my, my partner has some point, Boring and John Limited. We started OTC uh, transactions where people that want to buy or sell Bitcoin without using the exchange platform. Because you know, before before the exchange platform came in to do their P2P, for example, like Binance, people are, we were, we were already um, taking cryptocurrency from people and flipping it for Naira. More like the way you have Aboki, you change dollar, but this time we're doing it in Bitcoin. So we are the digital Aboki in some sort. And we did a whole lot of, a whole lot of things. I think. Uh, in three years, we were able to do transactions all around of $1 million. We did, we did transactions of $1 million, exchanging digital assets to people from diaspora to Nigeria, funding business. In fact, at some point, some companies in Nigeria don't use their account. I will not make them don't use traditional banking system to do remittance to fund their, to do their project. They use cryptocurrency. And, and, and I know that was why Emifili was very angry. And in my own case, let me give you guys my own case. Uh, when I started the OTC business, then in, in six months I was able to raise from nowhere a broke guy that left his job in pursuit of knowledge. I was able to in, raise in six months one million naira in profit. In fact, it was so funny that one time I did a transaction. I think around uh, before COVID, for a, a transaction from a client. In fact, anytime that client calls me, I become, I always smile. I did. I made a profit of one day, a single profit of a single transaction of one million naira. Uh, it has never happened before. I didn't see the way that happened personally in my life. Uh, I, I'm not, I'm not, I will say I'm, I'm not doing badly at all, my God's grace. And uh, I, I help my family to move from where they are before to where they are now. I, I own my own property uh, in my town because I'm this kind of person that believes that I need to have my town first. I start doing something here. Yeah, I, I do other businesses. You know, so the opportunities are banned. It's just for you to also have level of discipline and also understand your risk. You have to understand your risk. I've lost money and I've made a whole lot of money. So can you stand it when you lose money? You have high blood pressure. That's the question you ask. So will you go mad when you lose a lot of money? Because I've lost money and I start to ask myself, I remember, are you okay? Why are you doing this at this time knowing that you don't have resources? And I plan and I start resigning and I build myself back. Thank you very much, sir. All right. Thank you so much for sharing that heartwarming part of it because people might get the wrong impression that the crypto is a bad idea. 
like every business, he has a potential to make you rich. He has the potential to make you poor. You just need to get into it with the right mindset. And I keep preaching, even though I'm not the crypto preacher, you need to get good <laughs> education yourself. If you okay, so I'm taking I'm taking to crypto to the church. I think I'm the first guy that yes. took crypto to the church in Nigeria. That's good. I, I love it. It's a good idea. It's a good way for people to get out of a, a poverty if they do it right. I believe so. But like everything, if you don't get yourself properly educated before you get into it, you will lose your shirt and you only have yourself to blame. I don't blame anybody else for anything ever happening to me. Every decision I took, good or bad, I take responsibility. And you out there need to take responsibility for yours. If you want to get involved in crypto, get a coach. Go look for the rumors of this world. Number two, study yourself approved. Study the industry you are going into. Know when to get in, when to get out. Know all the, the manipulations going on there. It's one of the uh, uh, worst insider trading business in the world. There's a lot of insider trading going on. You see people hyping a coin and all of that stuff. You understand the game. So you can be a winner. I don't apologize. I don't condemn anybody. They are doing their business. Everybody's an adult. So if you are going in there, study yourself, approve. Know the game or you will be roadkill. That is my own advice to everybody, but it is still, I've had, I don't want to start mentioning names. I've seen people who have literally made hundreds of millions of Naira in Nigeria. I've seen people who have made millions of dollars abroad in this crypto game. I've also known people who have lost plenty. I know myself, I lost, but I am not bitter. I'm the one that didn't play the game right. And I'm telling you now, there are great opportunities there for you, especially for somebody who doesn't have a lot of money. You just want to get, you could get in now and be rich, but you have to study yourself up. Don't operate on emotion or hype. That's my advice to you guys on this question. But we're going to go to the last question for Rumer. 